What's up guys, so today we're gonna to be installing the RDR Gear Universal Tourniquet Plate. Uh, this is for red dot uh, holsters made by Safariland. This is a really good way to carry a tourniquet on your holster so that you can save space on your belt or just put it there if you'd prefer it there if you don't have any spot that you, you know, want on your belt or something like that. It's just great all around. Um, it's fairly inexpensive and uh, they make another one it, here it is called their uh, RDR Gear Tourniquet Strut. I believe that this is their first kind of, you know, uh, take on this type of product. It's pretty good. I ran it for a while on my old duty holster, uh, but I did have some issues. I'm not going to lie. I had a few issues with screws walking out a lot. That was fixed by some Loctite. Um, it, that's all that I really had to do. But I've dismantled it. Um, I'm, I'm not using it anymore. I'm planning on getting another one of these for this holster. Um, so yeah, but nonetheless, really cool product and really cool guys over there. They haven't paid me. They don't even know I exist. So <laughs> I just generally like their product genuinely. So you're going to get it like this. It's going to come with the bracket. It's going to come with these little, um, spacers and some blue Loctite with some pretty good instructions. I really like the packaging, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you can go ahead and pause that if you wish to read that. I'm not gonna do it because it's kind of dummy proof. Uh, I say that and I'm probably gonna mess it up. I'm not gonna lose, I'm not gonna use their Loctite today. I'm gonna use my own, but uh, it's always good to have some more. So I'm just gonna throw this to the side. I'm gonna use my own. I'm gonna set these to the side. I don't know if I'm gonna use this to be honest. I don't know if I have to. I don't really think you do. Uh, the instructions did not say anything about them. So we're just gonna see what happens and see what we gotta do. So a Safari Land UVL mid-ride is going to be like this. I've already unscrewed mine for video's sake, but you'll just unscrew the three holes, take it off, keep all your screws and stuff to the side, don't lose anything. You're gonna take this, you're gonna line it up with those exact same holes. And I'm actually gonna use a QLS fork too. Um, so this might be kind of difficult, especially to film and do. So we're going to see, or actually I have skipped a step. We need to install our tourniquet holder first. This is made by Leventon Rigid. Um, we're going to go ahead and install this. I'm going to figure out how I want it lined up real quick. So I think I want it lined up like this. Uh, I do have one issue though. I only have two screws for it. That is a slight issue. I lost some, so I only have these two. That's a tiny issue. Uh, I do. I think if I Loctite it and put one on the top and one on the bottom, I should be good to go. I shouldn't have any issues. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna put one on the top and bottom. The way that I would recommend doing this is you might have to like push it into your finger and get it to stick a little bit, and then thread it through. You might drop it a few times like that. And you're just gonna try to line it up in the hole you want with the cant you want. There we go, I got that in there. So uh, they offer one for left-handed and right-handed. I am a left-handed person. So, you know, that's always nice to see. I'm offering stuff for us. That's cool. Uh, oh, sorry about that. I do wanna see how this is gonna like sit though. And I have already messed this up. <laughs> I do wanna see how this is gonna sit. Like how low. Okay, that'll be fine. So now that that's in there, I'm gonna take my screw and I'm gonna set it on its side so it doesn't, hopefully don't fall out. Take this, take a little bit of Loctite. Kinda, ooh, that's a little much, but uh, we can, we can work with it. We can work with it. It's not going to hurt anything unless you spill everything like that. Uh, this is kind of a little clumsy review, but some of these things are just hard to work with. They're not uh, the easiest things out there. Uh, that and I'm a dummy. So, so we're going to go ahead and get that in there. Maybe. Go ahead and get it in there so the Loctite can do its thing. I'm making a mess with it, ruining my 
fabric, but that's okay. The fabric costs like $2. Um, you might have to apply decent force on the opposite side to keep it from spinning while doing this. So uh, I'm gonna have to tighten that a little bit more, which I will do here soon. So we're gonna go ahead and pre-apply <laughs> this and try not to get a boatload everywhere. You don't need a ton like I did. Just a little bit will do. And then we are going to do the same thing. Just get it into that hole. And then we're gonna take this and drop it into place. Try to get it started. I am making a mess with this Loctite though. Okay. So we've got it into place. Now I'm just going to, this might be cross threaded. And then we're just going to tighten it. This can be tricky because it'll spin it on the back. So this can take a minute, especially once you really start torquing it down. Yeah, you can see it's eating away at my finger pretty. All right, so I am back. We had to uh, do a little bit of editing. So I had some issues getting these in there. So I went ahead and uh, took them back off and added the rubber washers. Uh, and it definitely helped so it's on there it's tight it's not wiggly it's not rattly so now we're just going to take it and you line it up with the three original screws and then we're going to take our qls fork and th this is where it can get tricky uh or it might actually help to have another person but we're going to see if we can manage to do this if we can get one in then we'll be all right we're just gonna get one so it's not how i want the fork exactly but we're just trying to get one in there so that the stuff stays attached and then we'll move it around and uh adjust it as needed or as desired all right it's in there so now we're just gonna move the bracket around, get it where we want it. Move the QLS fork around. There we go. And then we're going to put this in there. that in there and then we're going to take this one put this one in there now i try to i like my holster as vertical as possible so uh this is going to be interesting because it puts it at quite a bit of a can't um so we'll see how i end up liking that this and I am going to make these pretty snug because I don't want anything going anywhere all right so now that we got that now we are just going to test for function Here's an unloaded Glock 17 uh, anytime you're working with a holster, especially Safari Land, and you add stuff to it, make sure your locking mechanism works. Make sure you can't pull it out. Just make sure everything functions as intended. 
if there's like a lot of added retention on your whole uh, your gun that means you over tighten something so walk something out a little bit and try again um so now that we have that we're going to take our tourniquet with a decent amount of velcro <laughs> um, and we're just going to slide that into place this can still come down it's not going to be stopped you can see if you pull a gun out of there super fast it will come down um, there's no issue there everything is decently lined up that's not entirely straight but it's good enough so there you have it that is probably the ultimate duty holster in my opinion um rdi gear tourniquet bracket 1110 rigid tourniquet holder north American rescue caption 7 tourniquet ghost designs portal safari lane qls fork Oregon trail defense nub mod with their piece of grip tape and a safari lane 6390 rds level 1 als holster and i do have the guard installed there you guys have it Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and uh, subscribe for more videos such as this and anything in the law enforcement or, you know, firearms and medical community.